Hello, this is Dr. Dan Kohinka. In this video, I'm going to discuss variable types. If you're conducting a research investigation, you of course need to know the types of variables you have so you can determine what statistical procedures you'll be using. In this case, I have in front of you here, Jamovi software, and before you even analyze the data, you are going to need to know how to label your variables. In this case, nominal, ordinal, or continuous. So let's go ahead and look at these variable types. We will first look at continuous variables. Continuous variable either is interval or ratio. An interval variable is measured along a continuum. There is no true zero, and that's the biggest difference, or one of the biggest differences between ratio. Uh, no true zero would be, for instance, if you look at Celsius, you have one degree, zero degrees, negative one, and it keeps on going. So there, there's no true zero. However, if you look at temperature using Kelvin, well, Kelvin has an absolute zero. There is a zero. And this is important because when you are describing temperature, you could say 20 degrees, excuse me, 20 Kelvin is twice as much as 10 Kelvin. However, you cannot say that 20 degrees Celsius is twice as much heat as 10 degrees Celsius. Maybe that's a little bit too detailed for this example, but hopefully it helps you better understand. Moving along, when you look at categorical variables, which are also considered to be qualitative versus quantitative, some will describe it that way, uh, categorical variables can be nominal, uh, which means there's two or more categories. There is no intrinsic or meaningful order to them. So in other words, states would be categories, categorical and maybe nominal. So like North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, there's no necessarily a meaningful order there. Gender, the same thing. You can have three or more groups, and there's no necessarily specific order to them. When you have a categorical variable that's dichotomous, that means it's nominal, but there's only two categories. So if you were to look at sex, male or female, that would be considered a dichotomous variable because there's two. Uh, yes or no, two categories, either yes or no, two categories could be considered dichotomous. And then finally, categorical variable that's ordinal is there's two or more categories, but they can be ordered or ranked. Uh, you cannot place value on them, but they can be ordered or ranked. If you place value on them, then we may be looking now at uh, a, a, some type of continuous variable. So for example, a Likert scale. Uh, researchers may argue that it, a Likert scale could be, continued, could be considered a continuous variable. However, technically, it's a categorical ordinal variable. In other words, never, often, very often. They're categories. However, they are also in a ranked order. Generations baby boomer, generation X, and so on. They're categories, but they're in a specific order. Hopefully that better helps you understand uh, variable types, including continuous variables, categorical variables, and categorical variables that are either nominal or ordinal.